Should you sell your house right now? Or should you wait? The answer is yes. My name is Tabitha Richardson and welcome to my channel, A Life of a Real Estate Broker. So let's jump into this topic because I get that question asked very often along with, is this the right time to buy? But that will be another episode. Today we're focusing on the homeowners and the people who are thinking about selling their house, their house right now. So is this a good time to sell? Yes. Should you wait? Yes. It really all depends on your situation, if this is going to be the right time for you or not. So let's first talk about should you sell right now? And the answer being yes. The people that I'm often seeing right now sell their home are people that need to sell. So when I say need to sell, I'm meaning people who may be getting a divorce, who may be expanding their family and need more space, people that are looking to retire and relocate, or people that are relocating for a job in another area, or for financial purposes because they can't afford to live in the house any longer. So there's varying reasons why people are looking to sell right now. So that the answer is situational, depending on each person's situation, what they need to do. There are still people out here that are looking to buy a home. So it's not a bad time to sell. It's just not as good as maybe a couple years ago. The difference between a couple years ago and now is that there is less buyers in the market. Now there are several reasons why there are less buyers in the market. The main reason is um, due to higher interest rates because inflation rates are so high, the feds are trying to reduce the inflation rate by increasing the interest rate. We're in the sevens in most areas, 7% um, interest rate. And that interest rate has scared away a lot of buyers from wanting to buy right now. The reason why is because the cost to purchase a home has pretty much like doubled uh, for their payment compared to a few years ago when we had way lower interest rates. So because of that, houses are becoming less affordable for buyers and they're opting to just go and rent and wait in hopes that the interest rates will come down and make houses more affordable. That's another situation. If interest rates come down, it's, it's going to be mayhem of buyers just jumping in. But let's just deal with the situation that we have right now with the high interest rates and buyers opting to not necessarily purchase right now. But we do still have buyers in the market. We still have buyers that are looking to purchase. The second issue is that there's not a lot of inventory because sellers are not looking to put their homes on the market unless it's a situation where they have to sell their home. So the few buyers that are still in the market, they're all kind of scrambling, trying to find a property uh, to purchase. But from the seller perspective, it's not um, the same like a few years ago where you will put your house on the market and boom, within a weekend, you'll have 10 plus offers on your property over asking and you will go under contract within uh, of the first weekend, within the first couple of days. It's not necessarily like that. Uh, and I'm saying this in general terms. Uh, on average, it is taking a little bit longer for sellers to be able to sell their home. It's not going off the market as quick as it what once was. But there are properties that are flying off the market in a weekend still. That's going to depend on you pricing your house right, putting it on the market for the right price and really listening to your realtor um, on the advice that they give on pricing the property right. Also, the representation of your house. You can't really put lipstick on a pig and throw it on the market and think that it's going to sell really quickly and get over ask um, offers. So we do need to take more time, make sure that we are pricing the property right and that is properly represented on the, on the market. And when I say that, I mean 
making sure your house is in tip top shape, making sure you have great pictures to attract the buyers to your home. So it is still a good time to sell because there are buyers that are in the market that are they're looking for your home to purchase. Now, should you wait? That is another question because I, I often hear people say like, you know what? I think I'm just going to wait to put my house on the market. One of the reasons why they want to wait is because when they sell their home, where are they going to buy? Right. That's been like the age old question for several years since the pandemic started. Um, where will they buy if they sell their house? Because inventory is very low on the market right now. And I get it. I totally understand. One solution for you is maybe consider new construction. There really isn't a lot of competition on new construction. You go, you choose your lot, you you know, um, pick out the features that you want and the finishes for your house and you're under contract. Now, buying a new construction house might be a little bit more expensive than buying a resale house, but there's not as much competition. And if you're selling your house and you'll have equity that you can transfer into the new house, it's a win-win situation for a lot of people. Now, the concern also is the interest rates, right? I don't want to sell my house right now. Interest rates are really high. If you have money from the sale of your home, you do have a couple of options. You can buy down your rate, right? So you can put, you can take some of your equity and um, invest it in buying down the interest rate so that it will be a lower interest rate for you. Um, when you when you put more money down on a house, you do get better interest rates. So compared to, you know, maybe some people that are um, putting down the minimum amount, if you're putting like 20% down, you won't have to pay private mortgage insurance, also known as PMI. You'll qualify for lower interest rates. And then if you buy down the rate, you'll probably will be in a good position. But if in the future interest rates do go down, you always can refinance the, the rate. You don't even have to refinance and pull money out. You could just refinance your rate. So there are options, but if you do want to wait, that's okay. Just know that if the interest rates come down significantly, like people are hoping for it to come down, you will have a lot of other competition from people who are looking to purchase a property. And just think about the people who last year or the year before that, two years ago, said that they were going to wait, right? And interest rates went from five to over 7% in that time frame. So just think about that. There's no time like the present and you can deal with whatever happens in the future. You can deal with that later on in terms of maybe refinancing your home. So that's it for today. Answering that question on should you um, sell your house right now or should you wait? And the answer is yes. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you haven't already liked the episode and you haven't subscribed to my channel, you'll go ahead and do that now as I bring you more real estate tips, tricks for the future. I'll see you on the next episode.